Hi, welcome back to Math Specs. My name is Stephanie, and today we're going to use addition and subtraction to solve equations. So for the first example, we have b minus 10 is equal to 4. And remember, when we're solving for any variable, um, we, want it, we want to get it by itself. So we want b by itself. So here we have b minus 10, and this is subtraction. So I'm going to use the inverse of subtraction, or the opposite, um, which will undo it. And that will be addition. So I'm going to add 10 to both sides. Then I can cancel these, because minus negative 10 plus 10 will give me 0. So they will cancel. I can bring down my variable b. I can bring down my equal sign. And I can add or perform the operation on the right-hand side. This will give me 14. And that is my uh, value for b. So let's continue to the next example. Here we have x plus 14 is equal to negative 12. And we want to solve for x. So here we have. Uh, we're, we're adding 14, so instead we're going to subtract 14 from both sides. And positive 14 plus negative 14 is going to give me 0, so I can cancel. I can drop down my x, drop down my equal sign, and perform this operation on the right-hand side. You can always go back to our subtracting integers lecture where we talked about the keep add opposite rule where we um, what we use to subtract integers. So here we have negative 12 so we're going to keep negative 12 the same. We're going to add instead of subtract we're going to add the opposite which will be negative 14 here. So what I'm um, here this our answer is going to be negative 26. Let's continue to the next example. In this example, we are dealing with fractions now, but it's exactly the same thing. We want to solve for x and get x by itself. So here we have x minus 1 fifth is equal to 4 fifths. So I need to get rid of this negative um, to this minus 1 fifth. So I'm going to use um, addition because addition is the inverse operation of subtraction. So I'm going to add 1 fifth to both sides. And then what will happen here is that these will cancel. I can bring down my x, I can bring down my equal sign, and I can perform this operation on the right. And because um, these two fractions have the same denominator, have a, the same common denominator, we can simply add their numerators and bring our denominator along. So 4 plus 1 on the numerator will be 5, and we can reduce this to 1. And that would be our solution for this equation x is equal to 1. So let's continue to the next example. Here we are solving for y, but it is exactly the same thing. Here we have 3 fourths plus y is equal to 1 fourth. So I am going to move this 3 fourths over to the right hand side. Here it's positive or it's being added. So I'm going to do the opposite, which is subtraction. So I'm going to subtract 3 fourths from both sides. These will cancel. I can bring down my y. I can bring down my equal sign. And I can perform this operation here. 1 fourth minus 3 fourths. So remember, the subtraction order does matter. So I'm going to, um, again, use the keep add opposite. So I'm going to keep 1 fourth the same. I'm going to add instead of subtract. And I'm going to add the opposite of this. So my answer is actually be 1 minus, and because um, these fractions have the same common denominator, I can simply perform the operation in the numerators and just carry my denominator along. Because to add or subtract fractions, we need to have the same common denominator. We, all, we already have that. So our answer is going to be negative 2 over 4, or simply negative um, 1 half. OK? So that is our answer. Let's continue to the next example. Today we practiced how to solve equations with addition and subtraction. We worked with fractions today. Thank you so much for your time and attention, and we will see each other in the next video.